welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be testing out the, what is it, the Blur Stick, Prep and Blur Stick by e.l.f., which is supposed to be a mattifying primer, along with the e.l.f. Blotting Powder, which is supposed to be for quick touch-ups throughout the day, or you can possibly even set your foundation with it. But we're going to find out if these are worth the hype or if they're a complete fail. So, if you wanna see how I got this look and this glow, keep watching and find out. Smoochies, bye. What's up guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're, re we're reviewing, if I can talk right, uh, the e.l.f. Prep and Blur Stick, as well as the Oil Control Blotting Powder. So this is supposed to be good for like touch-ups throughout the day, you know, to keep, um, keep yourself nice and matte. And then this is a um, primer stick that we're going to try, a mattifying primer stick, basically. But before we get started with all that, I'd like to say hi if you are new to my channel. Thank you for joining me. What's up? I'm Jen. Glad you could make it. And if you're a returning viewer, what's up? What's good? How you been? Glad you made it back. Anywho, don't forget before you head out of here today um, to definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can join the party over here and join my happy little family. I'd greatly appreciate it. The more the merrier. Um, and thank you for spending some time with me here today. Um, also, don't forget if you enjoy this video to give it a big thumbs up so that I know what you like and it does definitely help me out greatly. So, let's move it right along. I'm going to uh, read you the back of first. We're gonna start off with the Prep and Blur Stick in Shade Sheer. And it comes in this cute little box. And then it says on the back, hold on, let me read the back first. It says, blur the look of imperfections and minimize the appearance of pores while priming the skin. This silicone-free primer stick blurs the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections while providing a smooth base for makeup application. The universal color works on all skin tones and can be used alone for a naturally soft focused look. Infused with hazel, I'm sorry, with witch hazel to help absorb excess oil. Now directions, it says twist the stick and apply to the face in circular motions, blend in with fingertips, follow with your favorite e.l.f. foundation. And you get 0 0.56 ounces or 16 grams for $8 on this. So we're going to go ahead and throw this on. Comes in another one of these guys. This one didn't have a cap on it like the other one. So let's see. This is about the same amount of product as the dewy one. Yeah, you get that much product. But these tend to go a long way. And if you see glitter on my face, please don't mind that. Um, I just got done filming something else and I can't get rid of all the glitter. I do apologize. All right, we're gonna pop some of this on and see how we like it. All right. This has no scent whatsoever. And um, yeah, it feels nice so far. on this area. You could, I'm sure, use a brush with this as well if you wanted to. But it basically puts on just enough. So wherever you swipe it, it's pretty much a good amount for the area. in where it is on my nose. Mask, piece of mask from earlier. <laughs> it's on everywhere. All right. Yeah, I 
like this primer. I can definitely see the blurring of my pores in this zone right here. They look uh, blurry yeah, over here as well. Um, yeah, this primer is nice. And I feel like if you wanted to pop on a little bit more later, this, this is the kind of primer that you could, um, you know, if you need to touch up or something, you could. It's, it's nice, nice and thin. It goes on really easy with your fingers. All right, so this, so far, two thumbs up on that. Now I always use a powder after the um, primer, but I don't know if I want to use this one or the other one that I normally use. If I can get it out of the box, that would be great. Let's read the box first. This is what it looks like. And it says, an oil absorbing powder that blots away oil and reduces shine. This lightweight oil controlling pressed powder provides a semi matte finish without adding color. The powder is ideal for midday touch ups includes mirror, mirrored compact and puff for easy application. Enriched with kale and clay and antioxidant rich Camellia Japon Japonica seed oil. Sorry, I totally botched that, I'm sure. To control oil without ever drying the skin. Directions. Using the included puff or a powder brush, gently apply to the face as needed. So yeah, I'm thinking this will be good for touch-ups later, but we are going to swatch it real quick. I can get it out of the box. This is why I keep a knife in the drawer. I'm not trying to break a nail. All right. Whew. All right, so. I'm wondering, yeah, no. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There's the mirror, and then this lifts up. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, my roommate walked in. Anyway, okay, so if you lift this up, there is a poof in the bottom, and it's just this really flimsy little thing. I'm throwing this away, or I don't know, but not using it. So, um, let's give her a swatch. I mean, it's just powder, but see it on the back of my hand there. It's nice and sheer. It feels very creamy though. Nice and soft. Um, I am going to pop this on. I think we'll test this out after I use my uh, set my face. After I do my foundation, we will try a little bit of that under the eyes and see how it feels. I will be back shortly. Smoochies. Okay guys, I'm back. I did go ahead and set my full face um, with this, this uh, blotting powder. I was going to do it half and half, half with my peach on and then putting this on top of the peach and then doing half with it just that powder by itself. But as I was putting it on, I just fell in love with it. Um, I do want to do some check-ins and see how it holds up throughout the day, um, but so far it's two thumbs up for me. It's really creamy and beautiful on the skin. It looks a little powdery right now, but I haven't finished spritzing and blending and doing all of that. So I will be back in a little bit to show you the final result of my makeup once I'm done with that. And then we will do a check-in. Um, later and my final thoughts on how the um, powder as well as the uh, where are you my little mattifying primer stick go so far both are giving me two thumbs up though living for them both really this is a beautiful face powder just so creamy and lovely I'll be back Spoochies. Okay hey guys, I am back for my final thoughts on the blotting powder and also this blur stick. Um, really liked the blur stick, love the way it felt going on, love the way my skin feels. I feel like it really blurred everything out. Two thumbs up on that and as far as this blotting powder, really amazing. Um, 
It's great for setting with. It was great for touch-ups. I had to keep going in and hitting my nose because of just allergies blowing my nose. So, you know, a little dab will do ya. And it did great all day. As you can see, you could touch up, really brighten up a little bit. And I'm mattified once again. This really is a beautiful powder. I'm, um, yeah, two thumbs up on this as well. Great for setting, also great for a quick uh, touch up if you need a little bit of brightening or oil catching or just touch ups in general from allergies or whatever it may be. Um, two thumbs up on that as well. Thank you again for joining me. Um, and until the next one, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, week, whatever it may be until you are back. But I hope to see you on my next one. Love you so much, guys. Smoochies. Bye.